I'm going to carry out a study of this ammonia engine room with a cooling capacity of 4 megawatts at minus 42 degrees C. Six low pressure screw compressors deliver 12 tons of vapor ammonia per hour to the medium pressure liquid separator. The vapor is distributed through a diffuser located in the liquid ammonia. Five other screw compressors maintain this liquid separator at minus 10 degrees C by sucking out the 12 tons of vapor into the high pressure section. A desuperator exchanger recovers 400 kilowatts to heat water to 50 degrees C. Then the condensers evacuate the remaining energy either to create water or directly outside. The high pressure liquid ammonia is collected at the outlet of the condensers in mini receivers, equipped with a level gauge that controls the opening of the expansion step-by-step -step valve. The expanded fluid goes into the economizer receiver to superfeed the medium pressure compressors with vapor at zero degrees C. A level sensor controls the motorized valve which sends the liquid to the medium pressure liquid separator. A heat plate exchanger fed by gravity with liquid ammonia at minus 10 degrees C produces glycol water to cool the docking station of the logistics platform. The level of liquid in the medium pressure receiver is controlled by a level transmitter which drives the expansion valve feeding the low pressure part at minus 42 degrees C. With a volume of 48 cubic meters, the low pressure liquid separator can store the 12 tons of ammonia contained in the installation. Four pumps distribute the refrigerant in the plant to the freezing tunnels and to the cold storage rooms. The thermodynamic cycle has four stages with two compressions and three expansions. The total injection type operating regime of minus 42, minus 10, 0, and 32 degrees C allows for gradual pressure buildup in order to maintain system performance. The evaporators are fluted by a pump or by gravity to reduce the temperature difference on the exchanger. Only a well-trained operator can push this type of installation to the limit of energy efficiency through their expertise on daily monitoring. Frigoris Solidaire offers to support you in this process of increasing your skills.